Hey guys, Pen1979 here. Gonna bring to you today a quick test showing guys how you can run any uh, isobutane stove that uses these types of canisters. So they, they have smaller one, this is a big one. So this is 1049, uh, this is isobutane mix. So uh, your basic, you know, uh, gas canister for uh, running your different stove to uh, to heat up some water or you know cook some some stuff in a you know when you're hiking camping and stuff like that so basically the little adapter is called the Wado so there's a ton of different brands on Amazon I, I took this one because they had two adapter for eighteen dollars and most of the other adapter uh, were selling for like uh, fourteen or fifteen dollars so uh, an extra adapter so why not so basically uh, you just screw in uh, that part of the uh, that part of the stove right there so these things all run like I said on the isobutane so I'm just gonna use this gas canister right here this propane I'm gonna screw it on and it's gonna make a little bit of noise so this one is pretty empty so hopefully this still you're still gonna have some gas in there so just readjust so you guys can see the flame so now let's open it up and as you guys can see we have fire so you can go to a super slow slimmer super low simmer up to a high flame so all right, this thing is getting hot, so we're gonna let it cool for a little bit, and we're gonna switch. I have another propane bottle right there. So uh, one of the more popular stove guys on the market is the BRS. So can you run the super small, tiny BRS stove on? Whoops, let me zoom back out. All right, so can you run the tiny BRS stove on uh, basically propane so let me open it up so let me open up all the little tab right there so let's open this one and this one and this one so all right guys click click and click so that's in place so this is the BRS stove from China people like this stove it's super compact and let's see if you can run this on propane I am not gonna take the other one because the other one is probably still a little bit hot as it is so I'm gonna take the other adapter that came with it so it'll be a slash unboxing at the same time so the other adapter I am gonna screw this right here so screwing that making sure it's tight now I am gonna screw this on the propane all right now that's closed so now let's open it up and let's fire it up I'm in shot, I'm in frame, yes I am. Here we go guys. Down to a simmer. Barely a flame. I don't know if you guys can tell, there's barely a flame there. Super low slim simmer. Up to a jumbo flame. All right, let's close that. So now the last stove I'm gonna test out is the GSI stove. So this is the GSI Glacier. I wanted to test different stove to see which one would perform better uh, under certain conditions. So this one is the biggest one that I have, so in terms of size, but it's also simple and inexpensive. So it's around $24. Uh, for a stove like that, that's pretty good, guys. So now let me just see if this one is not so bad. A little bit hot still, not bad. All right, I can take it off. Oh, you can hear my cat in the background. 
she wants to go outside not right now so let me unscrew this right, this thing is still a little bit hot but it's not so bad cool down pretty quick let me put that on the side so now let's try the GSI and to see if the GSI glacier stove will be able to run on propane as well I think the answer is going to be pretty simple guys and pretty evident so all right everything is nice and tight so this bottle is running on empty so hopefully it'll work Whoop. I'm gonna have to close that because that is open Whoa. and it's fully open all right Ooh, propane smells a little bit different than isobutane so it's not a good smell all right so let's see if this thing will run on a propane bottle so benzomatic eh, where can I see that camping gas and it says propane somewhere all right here propane all right click right here so let's open it up and let's fire things up all right guys you can see nice flame let's crank it up Ooh, that thing generates a lot of heat and down to a crawl and just a tiny little simmer tiny tiny little simmer and back up again all right guys so basically you can run propane instead of isobutane so the difference the main difference why you want to be running propane uh, you know besides cost is that uh, you can get a lot more uh, a lot more propane for the same cost basically as the uh, the isobutane so this is 450 for 1049 you can basically get it for 10 bucks but I got four canisters of propane uh, 453 grams right here so you get more and you get this for half the cost so basically a can of propane instead of isobutane is five bucks versus this is the big one uh, because the smaller one are like five or six dollars but you only get a hundred grams or 250 grams for six bucks so uh, yeah guys so camping gas extremely blah 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 pressure so uh, I have these uh, just because uh, you know when you go out and you want something a little bit smaller sometimes uh, this is this is not the small bottle I have some small bottles somewhere but uh, the difference is you know if you're going out camping uh, and you don't care about weight uh, then the, the propane bottle are a good way to go besides the, the, the propane bottle you can't get them in any smaller size that I know of but with this adapter guys you can run propane in there all day every day so and it's not gonna damage the stove uh, quick anecdote I did contact Primus uh, where's my Primus stove right here so I did contact Primus and ask them if I can run uh, propane on there and the person that answered me was probably a secretary and she says we do not make any adapter right now to run different gases but you need to look at different stoves that can run different gases because we have some that are multi-fuel and blah 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 so basically she didn't know at all what I was talking about I already said to her I had an adapter and I wanted to try butane to I mean propane to see if it would make any difference but she didn't know the answer and she basically uh, says, uh, you know, we don't, we can't answer you on this note. So uh, I don't know. So basically, I spoke to somebody that didn't know anything about at uh, Primus, and just for the hell of it, let's go back with the BRS and let's have some fun with that little titanium stove. So let's get it back on. Man, you can get that to a simmer with propane. So, yep. All right, guys, so basically you can run any stove on propane instead of isobutane. So uh, basically just showing guys 
the isobutane as well might as well since i'm here so this is the classic cartridge isobutane that it comes uh, when you buy it so uh, when you buy those stove this is the type of gas that they say you should run but you know you can run anything really you want so let me get back down here all right so that's that so this is to a crawl So the flame is different it's a little bit different so let me cool this off and just to make it a little bit more interesting of a video i'm just gonna switch back the adapter which one is coolest this one should be the coolest one so let me switch back the adapter and let me go back to the primus to see if is this one cool oh the brs cools pretty quickly nice all right the brs cools pretty quickly as a stove in general so i'm gonna take off the brs then this is smelling like propane inside Whew. so let me take off the brs adapter and let me go back with the primus just to see the difference in the flame yep i got a good angle so is this thing cool down a little? All right, still a little bit hot. Yeah, still a little bit hot, but maybe I can run some magic and just take it from underneath here. Well, I gotta say guys, the isobutane is a little bit less smelly than the propane. Propane smells a little bit more than the isobutane, so. All right, so I get the primus back on. Let's put it back on the adapter and let's put it back on there. I wanna see the difference in the flame between the primus, which had the gentle flame on the uh, well, gentler flame on the uh, isobutane and let's see on the propane what kind of flame we can get that's different from the isobutane all right guys i gotta say you're getting a much higher flame on the uh, the propane and the isobutane, a much stronger flame. Damn, son. All right, <laughs> all right. So you're getting a lot more flame on the uh, on the propane than the isobutane. So a lot stronger flame. I don't know if it would affect the uh, the overall performance of the stove, if it would break eventually, but I gotta say you got way more pressure in there than you have on the uh, just the regular can. And just to FYI guys, this can is brand new, it's full. You saw me take off the cap, that was the first time that I used it, so. Uh, yeah guys so much different much different flame so if you guys want to see different stoves and it, maybe you want to see a boil test between uh, different uh, gases on boiling water let's say maybe on the primus you want to see me boil water and uh, to see which one would be faster between uh, propane and isobutane just hit me up in the comment just uh, g give me a shout out and just say uh, we want to see the test between uh, this said uh, the propane and the isobutane just to see which one is more is performed more so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I catch you guys on the next one